This video will show how easy it is to clean a quick clean rotor valve. Stop the material flow. Lock out the power and material flow. Unscrew all T-handles from the end plate and set them aside. Retrieve two of the T-handles and screw them into the jacking bolt holes. They will bottom out against the housing. Continue screwing until the end plate separates from the housing. Use the T-handles to pull the rotors completely out, then set them aside. Now wipe the housing, interior clean, and then wipe the rotors clean. Remove the red plastic cap from the end plate. Take the locator handle from its rest and insert its key pins into the end plate. Use the locator handle to push the rotor back into the housing. When the end plate is within 3 8 of an inch to the housing, slightly rock the locator handle in order to line up the keyway inside. Then push it entirely and closed. Put the locator handle back on its rest. Replace the red plastic cap. Now screw the T-handles back in, starting with the two outermost ones. Then screw in the top two. And then the bottom two. The power and material flow can now be turned back on.